everyone, it's Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom and I'm here today to plan out the week of August 10th through the 16th in my social media planner. This is a B6 size insert from Light Planner Action and it is the influencer or the influential plans insert and let's get it opened up. Um, this week I'm going to be doing a pink and yellow spread. It's one of my favorite color combinations to use. So I figured I might as well just go ahead and use it. Um, these are from a Simply Gilded sub box, I think folklore, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but they are going to be what I am using. So oh, there we go. Had to reach to grab my scissors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 15 millimeter. This one is the 10 millimeter and these are all five millimeter. And I'm going to trim off the edge of that bow that did not get, that's like ripped, sliced in two so that I can get a full bow. And I'm going to, like I said, just go ahead and snip. Hopefully that was straight. I can't really cut a straight line, so it is, it is what it is. And then, oh, I hear pepper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up with the top of the date line. There we go. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm, and it's like a hot pink foil, so... Pretty excited about that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Tombow Fudenosuke Calligraphy Brush Pen in the soft tip black ink to write out August. Actually, I had to stop to see if I write out August or if I just leave it as Aug. I write it out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here onto this page and get the rest of the washi laid down across the top. All right, so I've got that down. Um, I think I'm not going to slice it this time. Normally I slice the crease, but I don't think I'm going to. So what I am going to do is I'm going to take my Simply Gilded gel ink pen. Um, this is an undated insert, so I actually have to come in and hand date it myself. Um, I could use date dots, but honestly, I have two undated planners and I didn't date the classic now that I'm thinking about it. Um, and yeah, using date dots just gets to be a little, little too much. All right, so what I'm gonna do this is just kind of on a whim, honestly. I I don't do a whole lot over here with the get it done. So I'm going to lay down washi. I don't even think that's straight, but it's it's whatever. It's cool. I'm going to put some washi down. And I think I will do some of this one and just kind of put it there no real rhyme or reason right now totally honest I'm just kind of winging it at the moment and hopefully I like the results I'm going to be putting boxes over here to turn this functional because as of right now, it is not functional, and that's okay. This is what I want at the moment. There we go. Not done yet, but I've got, because like I said, I want this to be yellow as well. So we're going to put yellow down. So I kind of like using this planner because I get to try out some things that I normally wouldn't do. So get it done, I'm going to be just 
kind of putting some boxes down. Now these boxes are from my shop. Let's see. Um, so it's coffeeplannermom.com if you are interested. I'm going to layer these together, offset it a little bit. There we go. And throw in a quarter box just for some good measure. I want to keep it within these lines. I don't know what I'm going to put down here. Not at all. Not a clue in the world. I am just having fun and I will figure out what I'm going to do later. Now, I know for the daily test, and honestly, I, I'm i trying to make do with this planner. I've decided that this is not actually the layout for me. Um, now that it's not just a social media planner, this is a shop planner as well. Um, I... I don't really use this section right here, the daily tasks, because it's more of like a habit tracker, and I love habit trackers, but it is not how I use my social media planner, which I didn't know prior to getting this, so it's just kind of like, I'm learning, I'm figuring out what it is I like, what I don't like, what I use, so we're getting there. I am going to... Yeah, I'm going to do the tall, narrow letters again that I did last week. Now, I have some stickers. They're not in my shop. I have to reformat them because I wasn't terribly happy with them, but I still have a bunch. So, I'm going to use them for my videos. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down a little bit so that I can write the name of the video up top. So this video itself is going to come up on Monday. And then, let's see, my regular planner video. One, one, two lines, yeah. My regular video goes up on Saturdays. I have a drink video that I want to film and get up. It is my husband's current favorite, so I need to make sure I get it into the cocktail recipe section of the planner. Put this over here. Yeah, see what I didn't like about these, they fit the width of a column perfectly, but I typically like to put these in a... Hey, look, I finished a sheet. That's exciting. Um, but when I was using these in my regular planner, maybe, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. If you are interested in the YouTuber scripts, let me know if you would want them reformatted or not. They don't fit inside of a half box, but they fit the width of the column. So, I don't know. It's also just my regular handwriting, so I would have to like redo the whole thing and actually do a script, film, edit, and upload if I were to actually bring that into my shop. Now, what I'm gonna do, yeah. Okay. I had to decide. I was going to put it up here because, like, there's not much color. And maybe I'll actually put it up here. All right. This usually takes me quite some time because I do actually use my blade instead of ripping it. Because, like, you can rip or you can slice the washi. But I kind of just want to make sure that I have plenty of the pink and yellow in this spread. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done because as you can see it's taking some time. So give me a minute. All right so I have that all down. Now what I'm going to do, I do want to try to utilize this a little bit more. I am right now kind of struggling to keep up with my YouTube comments. I see them come across on my screen like on my tablet and on my phone and I'm able to read them really quickly and but I, I never really have a chance to go into each of the comments and actually reply so I'm kind of thinking that like maybe if I had it as a like kept up with that section and had it in there 
I might be able to do that more because like I want to make sure that I am still commenting or and replying back to everyone so I think what I'm gonna do is over the weekend try to take some time to at least go through and read everybody's comments from all of my videos this past week because I think I did hit all five videos that I wanted to upload which is exciting um but I don't think that I've had a chance to go in and comment and reply or anything and like read beyond whatever my devices show me as the pop-up notification and like yeah it's just it's important to me to be able to chat with you guys like I like it I look forward to it and I mean this week it this week was a little bit different though because like I was I spent a lot of time during the week trying to get ready for new releases so, like I know that's why I didn't get around to being able to chat with everybody as much as I normally like to but I think what I want to do is oops that did not slice as cleanly as I like um but yeah I think what I want to do is mark it in my planner so that I have that reminder. Okay, I am back. I don't know if I was saying something or not. This is becoming a trend for me today, man. Anyway, I I like it. It's nice and simple. I mean, like I said, I'm going to be using this top section for YouTube and any other to-dos that I need to get done underneath and within here. This is going to be for my posts and everything and that's kind of this is another reason why I feel like getting the executive planner from Lights Planner Action would be better suited for me because it is still broken up but this section is not meant like it's not designated as posts and like a habit tracking type of a thing and there is not a habit tracker down here it's so I just kind of feel like that would end up I have more that I could better utilize. So I'm going to tough it out though. I still have the rest of August and then I still have September as well in this planner. So I will get, I'll get something else ordered for next time. But for right now, like this is definitely working for me, but I can definitely see how if you are a PR person for a shop, this would, or multiple shops, this would definitely be a good good one for you because then you could fill in like the shops that you need to be posting for over here and make sure that you are posting in the Facebook group, on Instagram, Insta stories, and then I end up using this section for YouTube and all I do is I just come over here and I draw in a triangle so that it's kind of like, it kind of looks like a play button, you know? But yeah, so this is where I do more of like my Instagram tracking. The top section is for YouTube and to do's. This is I'm going to be able to put down like two big ideas that I need to get done and focus on for the week and then like one little thing. And then I don't I don't really know what I'm going to do with the promotion section, but this is the planner. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any of my other videos. If you press the bell icon, it'll actually give you pop-up notifications so that you'll know as soon as my videos go live. And be sure to be following me over on Instagram. Over there, I'm at Coffee Planner Mom, and I will see you guys later.